Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with an amazing, in fact, the best keto butter cracker I've ever had. I've made a cheese it cracker before and I'll make sure I link that in the description box below, but I haven't done just a regular cracker. Well, when I was making my pumpkin pie recipe, and there's a recent video for that as well, I was breaking off uh, the edge of the crust, just so you know, taste it, and even though the two should seemingly have nothing to do with each other between pies and crackers, when I bit into that hard crust, the first thing I thought of was crackers. And I'm like, I think this would work for like a saltine or a Ritz cracker. Guys, this is so simple. It's really based off my pie crust recipe, just taking out the sweet, adding a little bit of salty, and I can't even begin to tell you how good these turned out. All right, let's take a look at these ingredients. All right, here are the ingredients. We're gonna need one and a quarter cup almond flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, you're gonna need half a teaspoon each of xanthan gum and sea salt. You're gonna need one egg, three tablespoons of butter cubed, and two ounces of cream cheese cubed. Both of these need to be cold, so leave them in the fridge until you are ready to use them. And then the only other thing we need is a food processor. All the ingredients go into this one contraption. Again, those are the ingredients. The recipe doesn't get any easier than this. So just to reiterate, the butter and the cream cheese, they need to be cold right out of the fridge. A lot of dessert recipes or a lot of recipes that are dough-based will call for butter to either be melted or at room temperature. In the same way with the cream cheese, usually you hear it needs to be in room temperature. Not with this dough recipe. It needs to be cold. I don't know why, but the dough just works better when those two things are cold. All right, I'm gonna bring you in. We're gonna start making this dough. You're gonna start out by simply putting all the dry ingredients in your food process. So the almond flour, coconut flour, and the salt and xanthan gum. You're gonna take this and pulse it just until all the dry ingredients are mixed together well. Next, you wanna add in your cold butter and cream cheese cubes. This you'll want to pulse until the dough just becomes crumbly. And finally, add in one egg that's already been lightly scrambled. This time, you're pulse until the dough ball forms. And that's it. Now you're gonna take this dough from your food processor and you're just going to dump it out onto plastic wrap. And you want to roll this up and stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes, but it can really go in the fridge up to one to two days. All right. That's ready to go in the fridge. Like I said, at least 30 minutes, up to one to two days, and then it's gonna be time to make the crackers and bake them. All right, the dough is ready, it's out of the fridge, and now what we need to do is roll this between two pieces of parchment paper to our desired thickness. Next, you're gonna take a pizza cutter and slice this into the sizes that you want your crackers to be. Now, using a fork, poke holes in each of the crackers. And finally, dust with a light coating of salt. Now, all you do is you're gonna slide this on to your baking sheet and stick it in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, the timer just went off, and you can see the edges are starting to brown just a little bit, and that's okay. But right now, I'm gonna bump this down to about 300 degrees and go for an additional three minutes. All right, these are out of the oven. You'll notice the edges are just, are pretty brown, but that's okay. There's no avoiding that, unfortunately. Now these are actually gonna need to sit and completely cool off before they start crisping up. All right guys, I'm still letting that batch cool, but I just wanted to show you from the batch that I made yesterday, these turn out wonderful. They even have a nice little 
crunch to them. I think you can see little bits flying. So easy to make, they are so tasty, and in fact, yesterday after making some homemade peanut butter, we actually made peanut butter crackers with these. I'll put a picture up here so you can see them. And if you are missing Ritz's peanut butter crackers, this is gonna satisfy that craving. All right guys, that is all I have for you today. You have a good evening and I will see you on the next video.